Hi everyone, Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe. I uh, wanted to talk to you today about a new filament from Tolman 3D. This is a new nylon filament that they just recently released called Bridge Nylon. So named because it sort of bridges the properties of their previous uh, nylons, the strengths of those nylons with a, a lower cost and accessibility that you have from other filaments. And so I just recently received this and had an opportunity to, to run a couple of test prints. And I gotta tell you, I am thrilled. They did a really good job with this material. Uh, if any of you have printed with the previous uh, nylons, specifically from Tallman, they have the nylon 618 and 645, you know that they have some challenges. They certainly can be overcome, but it can be challenging to get them to stick well, uh, even with the, the Garolite material that you need, which of course presents its own challenges because then you have to be switching out your build plates. So uh, they made some real significant improvements with this one where it sticks real nicely now to a glass surface with a thin coating of PVA glue on it, uh, which is real easy to do. So you don't have to switch out your surface if you're already using glass. And uh, they dealt with some of the uh, warping challenges. It's much easier to print with overall, and yet it still has the advantages of strength and uh, 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 heat and chemical resistance, etc. So it's a really an interesting material. Now my plans for this have been focused around prosthetics and 3D printing prosthetic parts in this material because of its strength and lightweight properties. So one of the first prints that I did was a finger from a prosthetic model. This is from the Cyborg Beast design. Alright, so here we have the first test print with the new bridge nylon. And as you can see, I'm printing it on straight glass with a thin layer of PVA glue, which is essentially your basic Elmer's glue. There's all sorts of different varieties available. Some people like to dilute that up to uh, uh, 1 to 10 parts PVA to water. Uh, I'm using a, uh, uh, a straight PVA uh, bottle here without any dilution and it's working pretty well. And you can get different versions of, of that on Amazon and other places. So one of the things about this that I, I had noticed already is the uh, the adhesion to the bed is much nicer than the previous nylon. It uh, sticks nice and easily without coming up at the edges, which was a problem before, or at least a challenge. And so you can pretty easily get this one off. The other nice thing about this nylon is, is that the supports actually can be removed uh, compared to some of the other materials. So you'll see here, you can sort of pull this raft off fairly easily. It comes off nice and clean. We also have supports that were, were printed here on the underside of this. This is a, a finger for a prosthetic that I was testing, and that comes off nice and easily and cleanly, which uh, again seems to be a, a significant improvement compared to the, the previous nylon filament. And uh, just really pleased with the way this came out. Uh, I'll show you a close-up in a moment, but this is uh, very clean and, and pretty much right off the plate, as, as you just saw. Just a, Pulled the support off, no cleanup, no sanding. It's, uh, it's, it's quite a clean print, and uh, that's, that's something that was, was quite a nice, nice surprise. So uh, the material itself is, is really nice. A lot of people I've, I've seen asking about, you know, what's the big deal about nylon? Why, why should we be looking at this? Uh, I, so I, I think the easiest way to show that is a comparison here. I have here a, uh, the, same, the same part actually, and this is printed in ABS plastic, which is uh, what's commonly used for these, these prosthetics. PLA would be about the same. And you know, as you can see, there's some, there's some thinner parts on this model that would be points of stress that, that uh, can get broken if, if things are, are pulled or bent the wrong way. So most of you have experience with ABS. You know that if you put too much pressure on it, it's going to break right off. And, uh, and that's why you have to you know, worry about stress points and uh, how strong the part is going to be at those points. And you look at the same part printed out of nylon. This is only a 35% infill, so uh, it certainly can be made even stronger than this. But even at this point, I can really crank on this thing. And it's, it's bending a little. You're, you're hearing it adjust a bit, but you are going to have a hard time breaking or tearing this material. It is really really strong and uh, so when you think about the benefits of using something like that 
that is still super lightweight but ultra strong and it prints on the exact same printers that the other materials do without modification uh, as long as you can get to a temperature of about 240 degrees Celsius which is where this prints best the bed temperature I used for this was about 70 and that worked well so overall I gotta say I am thrilled with this product it is very impressive they've also managed to bring the cost down considerably so if you're looking for a way to print high strength parts and uh, are uh, interesting, interested in a new alternative, I definitely suggest checking this out from Tolman3D.com and uh, uh, hopefully you'll have the same good results that I did. Thanks everyone. Talk to you soon.